Friday mornings are, are some of our favorite times at BFCCPS because we get to get together, display what we've been learning in the classroom, and after our academic assembly, you get to hear about some of the great behaviors, some of the great virtues the students of this school have been displaying every day at BFCCPS. Welcome, you guys are in for a treat today. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Setti to tell you a little bit about today's grammar assembly. Welcome, kindergarten especially. I guess the first and second graders forgot about me. Already. All right, welcome to our assembly. We are going to sing three songs for you today. Our first song is about possessive nouns, because we've been learning about possessive nouns in first grade. We are also going to sing a song about nouns, right? That's our second song. And our third song is a really special song about punctuation. So we are going to sing you three different songs about some of the really cool stuff we're learning in first grade. So, when are we ready, Mr. Rose? So we are ready to present our awesome songs. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it now. Let's start. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
six friends we see Lily today. And um, we have my first friend right here, Miss Angie Gagoski, and she is receiving her lead today for temperance because Angie has amazing, fabulous courtesy and good manners, right? She does. She is sweet, she is kind, she is polite. She always includes everyone in everything she does, whether she's outside of recess or in the classroom. She's helpful. We can count on her to treat others with respect and kindness all the time. Awesome work, Angie. Congratulations. All right, this is my friend, Maxwell Shaw. And here's your certificate. Max is receiving his leave for temperance because you also have good manners. Don't you? Always. He's super polite. He acts the right way at the right time. He shows self-control at all times. Don't you? Yes. Max always has a kind word for his friends and for his teachers. We can always count on you to say something nice, right? Always, always, always. Max has a great big heart, he has a great big smile, and we love having him in first place. Awesome job, Max. Here's my friend, Preston. There you are. Preston is receiving his week for prudence because he has integrity. That's a big word. We haven't really talked about that yet in first grade, have we? But Max is really true to himself. That's really pretty much what it means. It means you know, you know what you like to do, you know what's important, and you do it. And you do a great job of that. You're thoughtful, you make wise choices, you also include everyone. We can count on you to be a role model in our class. You always have a good, great big smile on your face, too, in class, always. And you're polite and hardworking, and they love having you in class. Awesome job, Preston. Mia is receiving her leave for justice because she is a respectful and kind and wonderful friend. She is also a great student. She shows kindness and respect to everyone. She is honest and she's always willing to help. She helps me out a lot, right? You organize things, you keep things me. If anything's out of place, she's like, can I go fix that, right? You are super awesome. Love having you in class. Great friend. Layla, and Layla is receiving her leave today for perseverance and courage because Layla works so hard in first grade. She is always focused on her work. She does her very best, don't you? You really do. I am so proud of your hard work. Not only that, but you're a great friend. And you're always happy, you're always smiling, you have wonderful good manners, and you are just a superstar in first grade. Love it. Awesome. my friend Albie, and Albie is getting his leave for justice, because you are, I have a lot of kind, respectful friends in this room, didn't I? Yeah, everybody was kind and respectful. You are honest, you are caring, you are thoughtful, you have a lot of enthusiasm, too. Do you know what that is? Not a clue. He's super enthusiastic. He's always like, you love to do stuff. You're like, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm so excited. Right? Yes. About everything. About schoolwork, about recess, about PE. Right? Awesome job. You also are a great friend. You always have a great smile, and you are a positive role model in our first grade class. Awesome job, Helen. Thank you, Mrs. Seti. First graders, you were awesome. Did some second graders recognize the punctuation song? Yeah. yeah. All right, could I have Miriam, Dia, Tim, Andrew, and Peter, please? My five friends receiving their leaves today. You're not Miriam, so let's find yours. Um, my first friend is Timothy. Timothy is receiving his leave today for justice and optimism. What does optimism mean? You're looking on the what? 
the bright side, right? Um, Tim makes us smile every day, mostly with his smile, but also with just the way that he acts in the classroom every day. Um, I'm giving Tim his leaf because his positive attitude is just endless and it's constant in our classroom. I've never seen Tim in a bad mood, ever, ever, and apparently mom and dad don't see him in a bad mood very much either from what I've heard. Um, he walks in cheerful in the morning every day. He stays cheerful all day no matter what we're doing. Um, I love the smile. I love saying something funny to Tim because the look on his face is just, it, it, it just brightens my entire day. What, what do you do when I say something really funny? <laughs> and he's just, he, he's so cooperative, he's so patient, um, and that attitude is just so fantastic, and it just radiates around our whole classroom, and we absolutely love it. Nice job. My friend Miriam is receiving her leave today. She's receiving her leave for good manners and for prudence, and we've been talking about prudence lately and making good what? Choices, right? And Miriam always makes good choices. And I could probably award Miriam with the top prize for making good choices and for really, really good manners. Because I don't hand anything to Miriam without hearing her say thank you. And she never asks for anything ever without saying please, right? If I complimented you on your good manners a ton, and even your friends have, too. Um, it's, it's so nice. Even if you're handing out a test paper, Miriam will say thank you. Um, so it, it doesn't matter what it is. She's just always using those polite manners, and we absolutely love it. Um, I also gave her her for prudence because of her great choices. She follows directions. She thinks before she acts. You can just tell. Okay, I can see those things going on in your brain when you're thinking about the right thing to do, right? Can I see into your brain? <laughs> <laughs> but she's just a, she's just a wonderful role model, and we love having her in the class. How nice of a friend for Dia to point that out. My friend Dia today is receiving her leave for kindness and for generosity. And Dia is so sweet. She has so many wonderful qualities, um, among them kindness and generosity. But she's also extremely respectful of others. That means that Brett, you're always thinking about others, you're not getting in anyone's way, you're not talking over people, which is a really, really important rule. It's like our, our biggest rule in our classroom, right? Um, I've never heard anything besides kind words come from Dia ever before. She has a smile on that beautiful face all day. She starts her day, every single day walks in with a friendly good morning, right, to her teachers and to her friends. And she's like another ray of sunshine in the classroom, and we are so lucky to have her. Um, I have Andrew receiving his leave today for justice and for fortitude. And we haven't talked much about fortitude lately, but, um, but because Andrew works so hard in the classroom, I wanted to recognize him for fortitude. Um, he never hands anything in to a teacher or the finished work basket unless it is completely done to the best of his ability. Um, he's also very eager and willing to accept a challenge, and he'll do his best to, to try hard at whatever challenge I give him, and he won't give up until he gets it right. Um, I also gave him a leave for justice because he gets along so well with everyone, and it's just obvious that he enjoys coming to school every day, learning, and spending time with his friends. Awesome job, yeah. <laughs> Manners today. They always have good manners. All right, last but not least, my friend today is Peter, and he also is receiving justice, but this is for justice, justice, sorry, and temperance. And Peter is fantastic. He has so many wonderful qualities. He's also very kind, very respectful, and he has an endless amount of patience. So no matter what we're doing, Peter is always one of the most patient, patient friends. We're lining up. He's patient. He's waiting to be called on with his hand up in the air. Always, always so patient. You know that smile on his face. Um, he's another friend who has a smile on his face almost all day long. And I don't think I've ever seen Peter in a bad mood either. And he's just always happy to be at school. And you can tell he's happy to be at school. He's so kind. And I just love his sense of humor, his wonderful smile. And he's an awesome addition to our class. Wow.
awesome job, first grade. I think second grade was learning about possessive S this week. We were, right? Weren't we? Yes. All right. I have my friend Alex White. He is receiving a leap for good sportsmanship. So I have here that we like to play a lot of fun games in second grade. What's your favorite game to play? Typewriter. You love typewriter. Roll an app is another good one. And recently, before Thanksgiving, we played Odd Even Turkey. And I watched Alex play an Odd Even Turkey with his dust partner. He does our dust partners now, but you were. And who won the games? Who won the game? Shippen won. Shippen won. And you put your hand down and said, good game. And shook his hand. I loved it. So we're going to demonstration. I loved it. It was awesome, Alex. I was so proud of you. Excellent behavior, great sportsmanship. We are going to play with Jack. Jack is receiving a lead for prudence. Can you see what this is for we said? Prudence is using your, using your head. So, Jack, I am just so impressed with you. You listen all the time. You volunteer all the time. You ask questions all the time. And you're an awesome role model. And you know what's happening, Jack? You're getting smarter and smarter. And smarter. Pretty soon you're going to be running the classroom, and they're not going to need me. So calm down, would you? Calm down. Excellent job. And here's my good friend, Shibin. And Shivan, you're receiving a leaf for optimism. Do you know what optimism is? Look it on the bright side. Nice. And we're being smart. So look it on the bright side. Right here I said Shivan has a very bright and cheery personality. Is that true? Yeah. I said I love Shivan's positive attitude. It helps keep our classroom a happy, hopeful place. And we always have lots of fun with you, Shivan. So keep being flexible and positive. We love it. It's Sophia. And Sophia, you are receiving a leaf for kindness. Kindness. Sophia is such a kind and caring girl. I said she gives her teachers hugs every day, which fills us with warmth and happiness. Right, Mrs. O.B.? Where's Mrs. O.B.? She'll hug you later. You know she will. So we recently had a new student join our class this week, too. And Sophia was a great friend. She welcomed her with open arms. And you're just so kind and nice, and we love you, Sophia. Keep up the good work. Hi, everyone. So I have my four friends here getting a leaf today. My first leaf is for Barry. Barry is getting a leaf today for prudence. Barry comes to school every day with a smile and a positive attitude. She approaches all academic tasks with great care and determination. She takes her time to read instructions and complete her assignments carefully and accurately. I know when Barry turns in an assignment, she has done her best. She's also a very kind friend to all her classmates, always there to help someone who might need help or give a kind smile or a hug to a friend in need. So I'm so proud of your hard work. It's a great work. Bella. Bella is also receiving a leaf today. She is receiving a leaf for justice. Bella is a kind classmate to all her peers. She always tries to do the right thing and is a great role model for her classmates. And recently, I was thinking of a particular thing that Bella did that was so kind. When we were coming back from our trip to the senior center, we played around in the common, and some friends found kindness rocks that were hidden around the common. And when we got back, Bella was one of the friends who found a kindness rock, and other friends in the class were sad that they didn't find the rock. And Bella gave her rock to a friend, which I said, what she got the meaning of the kindness rock. It wasn't about finding a treasure, it's about spreading kindness. And Bella always says that every day in class. So I was so proud of you, Bella. Congratulations. Liam is my next friend who is getting a leap for divorce of virtue. Liam is getting a leap for fortitude. Liam
William is such a hard working student. He approaches every assignment with a great deal of fortitude. He never gives up, even when it is a tricky math word problem. He takes great pride in his work, especially his writing. I am so proud of Liam's inner strength and his, the hard work that he puts in his writing every day. He works diligently until his assignments are completed. And recently, all, my, all the other teachers that work with us have been commenting on how great Liam is doing in class. He's really... I know, that's how I know what to say. I'm so proud of you, Liam. Uh -huh. Good job. <laughs> My last friend getting a leap today is Arav, and I'm giving leap, uh, Arav a leap for fortitude as well. Arav is a hard-working and determined second grader. He approaches all his assignments and tasks with great intensity. He's motivated to do well in school and always tries his best. Even when faced with difficult problems or writing assignments, a, a Rob is always putting forth his best effort and working until he has it completed. A Rob never gives up. I am so proud of your hard work, a Rob. Great job. Great job, first grade. That was awesome. That was really good. You did a great job. All right, my first friend is my friend Julia, and Julia is receiving her leave today for helpfulness and responsibility. Just like her brother, Julia could kind of run the class, couldn't you, Julia? She keeps me on my toes. She loves to help me with tasks and jobs. She's always asking to help. She jumps up if I say I need something, right? And she lets me know if I forget something or I miss something, don't you? Yeah. She's also extremely responsible. She follows directions. She does what she's supposed to do when she does it. And she's also very sweet and gives me lots of great hugs, don't you? We love having Julia in class. Great job, Julia. Congratulations. <laughs> this is my buddy, Marissa. And Marissa is getting her lead today for kindness as well. We have a lot of kind friends, don't we? And self-control. Marissa is a very sweet, kind way about her every day. She's uses good manners and polite words. I've never heard a mean or unkind word come out of your mouth. That I will say you're so kind to everyone. And you are always trying to do the right thing, even when friends around you aren't, right? You're sitting nicely, showing lots of self-control, listening, following Mrs. Jones' directions, right? And she always, even when she has a disagreement with a friend, she tries to use her words to work it out. If she can't, she comes to me for help, which is awesome, which is what we ask you to do, right? So awesome, we love having you, Marissa, great job. And look at how beautiful Harita looks today for her leaf. I love your hair like that. Harita usually has her hair up. It looks so beautiful today. Harita is getting her leaf today for also for responsibility and kindness. We have so many responsible kindergartners. Harita is an excellent kindergarten student. She not only, uh, does makes terrific choices throughout the day. She also always hands in well thought out, very neat, awesome work, don't we? Don't I always comment on your beautiful handwriting and how well you do your work? So you're always following directions. I love that about you. And she, just yesterday, um, a friend asked her to, she asked to play with a friend. The friend said, sure. And another friend said, I would really like to play. She said, okay, come on, we're all gonna play. She's so kind to all her friends every day. And I love that about you, Rita. Congratulations. Lucas is super excited. This is my friend Lucas. He is getting his leave today for hard work and perseverance. Perseverance means you never give up, right? Look, this is Lucas's first time in school, right? Kindergarten, and there's a lot to learn in kindergarten, right? Lucas has been working extremely hard. He does his work every day, and not only does he work hard 